that's me just about to leave Edinburgh. I'm going to visit Sutherland, which is one of my favourite parts of the country and somewhere where a lot of people don't uh, manage to get to. It's uh, about a four and a half hour drive from Edinburgh and I'm going to do a couple of stops along the way. As I say, many people don't actually get there and visit there, but for me personally, that's where my heart lies. I think for me, it almost feels like the real Scotland. Um, it's away from all the sort of honey traps that so many people are herded into. And... There's also a temptation um, because um, it is so f infrequently visited uh, not to show you um, my favourite places up there. But um, I, I want to show you because for me, it's where my heart lies in Scotland. And I, I want to share that. And I'm going to take you along with me and I hope you really enjoy it. <laughs> So I've just stopped off at the House of Brewer to get something to eat. Uh, it's about 10.30 and uh, normally this uh, car park is absolutely jam-packed with people um, but due to the uh, pandemic there's just so few visitors here in Scotland just now and I noticed that they've got a really really big sale on. Like a lot of hospitality places um, they're just really really struggling just now but uh, hopefully given a bit of time uh, more visitors will return. As I was saying before, in the car park, this place is normally packed during the height of the summer and it's really strange to see it so empty. The restaurant, you normally have to queue for ages and uh, yeah, it just seems kind of sad really that uh, there aren't the tourists and visitors here that there normally are. So that's me arrived at Lairg in Sutherland. Lairg is centrally located in Sutherland and it's about, about a four hour drive from Edinburgh and it's a great stop off if you're heading up right uh, to the north uh, of Scotland. It's a very small little uh, town 
There's a spar shop which is very handy if you want to get a few things um, on the way up north. I've just had a coffee and a cake from the Pier Cafe which I can thoroughly recommend. They do really good lunches and I think evening, evening meals too. But uh, I just had a coffee and a cake and sat outside which was absolutely glorious. It overlooks little Loch Shin um, and on a sunny day it just glitters away and is just lovely. There's also the Ferrycroft Visitor Centre over on the other side of uh, Loch Sh Little Loch Shin and uh, it's well worth going to to find out what uh, is available to do in the local area. <laughs> where I caught my first brown trout when I was just five years old. Um, it's amazing to think that's actually all the way back to the late 70s. We go down to the river Where the saint or sinner We've all got ties to the giver We go down to the river So here we are just on the edge of Dalchork Wood which is just a few miles north of Laird and I really think this is one of my favourite places in the whole of Scotland. It's not as majestic and mountainous as other parts, but there's a real beauty, an unspoilt beauty here. Most people don't get up here, which is such a shame. But for me, I actually really rather love that. It so, makes it really rather special. It feels special. And to be back is just just feels so good. I've really, really missed it. It's been a wee while since I've been here, and my heart really lies here. Better for the worst As 
long as we're together, we'll make it through this. I knew that it was true from the very first time I kissed your lips. I know every day is a new adventure. Sometimes you may feel like giving up, but you just gotta look back and remember what we're made of. I'll stay by your side. Storms are raging. That goes deeper than the surface. I've waited my whole life to find someone who gives love a purpose. Mm -hmm. I'll stay by your side.
Still free your 